Hi, this is Katie Tunstall and I am here to give you some sound advice. I would like to talk about rhythm. Rhythm is, I feel, as integral to what I do as melody, as lyrics, as chord progressions. Um, when I made my first records, I was having this issue where if I played solo, it was really exciting. And if I played with a band, it just became really bland and boring and I couldn't really work out why. And thankfully, I ended up working with Steve Osborne, a uh, producer on my first record, and he really worked out what the problem was, which was that there's a very standard way of approaching music. Um, and unless you're playing with musicians who are thinking out of the box and you're not thinking out of the box yourself, there is always a kind of more trodden path that you can go down. And my rhythm playing on guitar, really kind of born from being a street performer and having to provide the percussion to what I'm playing as well as the song, um, really kind of led me to a place where I was trying to play drums on my guitar. And then obviously it led to me looping and using the looper, which is a whole other conversation about time, which I will talk about a little bit here too. But in terms of rhythm, this was a really good um, example of what happened. So I have a song from my first record, which is called Miniature Disasters, and it goes like this. <laughs> so on and so on, but it's a very syncopated, percussive rhythm, that. Um, the other thing I want to take, I'm going to say really quickly here is, um, when I see people sometimes online playing my songs, I'll often see them doing the strumming pattern, trying to always hit the accents with the downstroke. This is a little sidebar here. Um, so for example, suddenly I see, So I'll see people playing it going really messy, no flow, little tip for playing rhythm guitar, that everything, never changing, doesn't matter what rhythm you're playing up and down all the time. Obviously there's going to be a few breaks and pre-choruses and whatever where you, you change that. But if you see me playing, I'm never breaking that. And that is like a physical, it's a physical uh, following of rhythm where it's not just your, it's not just your playing, it's your whole body is keeping in this rhythm of what you're playing. So if I'm playing that, that part, I'll play it just straight so I'm not accenting. actually a really good exercise is to play a song completely flat with no accent so that you know that you're you that you're basically controlling the pressure with your hand so you just have to basically work on your upstroke being just as powerful as your downstroke. So back to that miniature disaster song. So what was happening was I was playing that song and the drummer would be going boring. And when Steve came in and worked on the album, he said to the drummer, watch her right hand and follow what she's playing with her rhythm hand. And suddenly the drummer is going and suddenly it sounds like Nina Simone. It sounds like, you know, just, it sounds exciting. Um, so it's really allowing, allowing your style to dictate the music rather than feeling like you have to follow a traditional path of like, beat to what you've written. Um, and then I'll just quickly talk about the loop pedal as well. So the loop pedal I use is an Akai Headrush 2. It's very simplistic. You can't save anything. There's no tempo mapping on it or anything like that. 
And it's all about perfecting your rhythm. And I really feel that what I was saying about that flow with your body, it's completely physical. It's just getting your body into a place. I always tap my foot. I always bang my heel on the ground. Try and, I guess, just use your whole body more with rhythm. Um, and I just, I, I can't play Staying Still unless it's like a really down tempo song. Um, and, and with the pedal, it really is just practice makes perfect. I have done tens of thousands of hours on that thing to make sure I'm getting it right. And that's really all it takes is just practice. But I would say use your whole body, tune into the rhythms that you're using and follow those instead of just going for an easy option when you're building music around things. And um, play along to stuff. That's another really good thing to do is to listen to songs that you love that have like Wake Up Little Susie by the Everly Brothers, masterclass of acoustic guitar. Elvis, masterclass. Such good, and Lindsey Buckingham, Fleetwood Mac, just play along to some of your favorite songs and keep up and just practice. <laughs> <laughs>